Are politics hurting our frontline correctional officer staff? Are we giving in to political pressures? Have you ever noticed that the frontline officers and some of the frontline administrators who have the most experience in corrections and they know how to outline and program security to work properly, they have the least input in anything that goes on with the governor's office, with legislature, maybe even the Secretary of Department of Corrections, depending on where you're at. The decision makers, yeah, they allow you to come up during legislative sessions and say a few things and we send people up and try to get our word across as correction officers. They say, thank you very much, have a great day, and then they go ahead and make the decision they want to make anyway. Are they giving in to political pressures? Are they giving in to the mass media, to the specialized groups throughout the country? And are they forgetting about the real reason that we have safety and security in our prison system? The officers working the front line, the staff working in the prison, and, and the safety and security of the inmates as well. And every time a new decision is made by a non-correctional experienced person, it seems to weaken our security, in my opinion. Okay, so somebody's saying right now, well, back that up. Why do you say that? Well, I'm seeing, there's always been officers getting hurt on the job, but I'm seeing a lot more uh, officers getting hurt on the job, getting attacked by inmates, getting killed by inmates. Look at the officer that just recently was choked out by an inmate attempting an escape. He used his handcuffs and choked the officer out. May that officer rest in peace and God bless his family and prayers for them. Um, where are the political pressures for the officers on the front line? Where are the decisions being made for better safety and security for the officers on the front line? Where are the decisions being made to provide more money for more staff and more equipment and updated equipment and safety and locks for ourselves? How many prisons and jails do we have now with faulty locking mechanisms? You've heard of those stories as well. And then the inmates are not secure. They come out of their cells and they attack an officer, okay? Who deals with the political pressures in the prisons? Well, your legislature, your governor, your secretary of corrections. Those are the three high tiers. Um, your mass media, unfortunately, and we know what the media does to us. The media makes us look to be the bad guys and and that we're not caring for the inmates properly when they do have proper care and better care in this country in the United States than they do in most countries in the world except for the Norwegian uh, Norway and Germany yes they they have some very nice things for the inmate population. It seems to be working well for them. Um, uh, the United States is trying to adapt some of those things. Um, and the citizens outcry. But does anybody listen to the frontline staff experience? The people who actually have to live uh, with the incarcerated and with some of these uh, violent inmates who if you turn your back on them you don't know at any given moment will attack you and kill you uh i'm just putting this out there um to ask the question um the mission of corrections correctional managers who have the knowledge and experience and correctional frontline who have the knowledge and experience 
are left out when it comes to decision making in corrections. And they're left out in the decision making on what direction corrections will go. The people making that decision is the legislature, the governor, Political influence from citizens and mass media and specialized groups. If we continue, in my opinion, to be pleasers, and we want to be political pleasers in the world of corrections, we're going to continue to lose officers. And we're going to continue to be short-staffed and even more short-staffed in the future. And we're going to, unfortunately, continue to see more and more officers being injured. Just want to take a few moments to talk about why we should not be political pleasers. And is the politics of corrections hurting our frontline officers? Let me know what you think. Gary York, True Prison Stories. Please subscribe.